Hey, what's up, podcast? It's Jeff. Just want to jump in here. This is a special bonus episode of Teach Better Talk. This is actually going to be a the audio uh, recording from a Facebook Live that our team is doing every single day, Monday through Friday um, at 8 a.m. Eastern Time in our Facebook private group. You can get in that group at teachbettergroup.com or uh, go on Facebook and just search Teach Better Team. You'll see our page and then you'll see the group get in there. So here we go, a special bonus episode of Teach Better Talk pulled from one of our Facebook Live videos in our private group at teachbettergroup.com. Hope you enjoy. And this is our daily drop-in. This is purely 100% here for you, supporting you, whatever you need. Every morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern time, right here in the private Facebook group. If you are hearing this on the Teach Better Talk podcast or you are watching this on YouTube or on our page, the best way to get in here and interact with with us and with special guests like the guy I got with me right now is to get into the Facebook group. So go to teachbettergroup.com or search Teach Better Team on Facebook and you'll be able to get in here and actually uh, interact with us live right now every morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. So today I'm pumped. I like I got the I got the hoodie on and everything for punk rock classrooms. Um, I'm here with uh, Mr. Michael Earnshaw, who is I'm gonna say you're a friend of mine. I think we would consider each other friends at this point, beyond college, yeah, definitely I would. right? Um, definitely. And super pumped. Uh, I don't remember when we eventually first met, but you've been on the podcast before. Uh, we you came out to uh, teach better nineteen and killed it, and then. We got to hang out for a little bit at um, IdeaCon as well in Illinois, right. uh, what, what, about a month ago or so. So yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been fun. We're all, you know, you have a lot of stuff going on, and we've just—it's been awesome watching you create new and cool ideas to support uh, teachers and stuff as well. So I've um, been excited about that. I'm bringing up my—I'm um, bring up my phone here because make sure I see everyone that's going on and uh, the comments that are being made. So I want to get get into that because I got some people chiming in saying hello. So hi, Alex. Hi, Ray, of course. What's up, Kelly? Dave Schmidow's in the house. And other people watching right now. Um, Alex says, good morning, Jeff and Mike. Everyone else saying good morning there. Uh, Mike, super excited to have you on, man. Um, I know it's an early morning for you because you're not necessarily in your building right now. So, like, maybe it's a right. slightly different wake-up time normally. Has that yeah. changed for you right now? Like, so, well, let, let, me, let me back up. Before I get into that, let's let's do this first. Assuming not everyone knows who you are that's watching, can you give us the the gist on who you are? Like, you know, what you're, where are you at? What's your role in education? And, and where you're at right now? Kind of kind of a deal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, I'm an elementary school principal. Uh, it's my sixth year doing that role um uh, lansing illinois which it's it's funny because it's a town it's like literally the last town before you go into indiana mm-hmm. so i live in indiana right over the border yeah um, but i work in illinois so it's been interesting this time because the states you know obviously aren't on the same page when things are kind of happening with all these shelters sure. and, and yeah. what what's going on so it's 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 interesting trying to keep balance of the both both of the two because you know my kids are on a different schedule than that what's going they go, on. they're in they're in indiana right, right yeah right right so, so who, went, they, who who went first as far as taking the measures was it illinois or indiana it kind of happened it, it it happened about i think it was the same day um or maybe indiana i think they called it on a thursday and uh then Illinois called it Friday the very Friday, next day. Yeah. Um, okay. Indiana's right off the bat, though, was a later date out where Illinois originally said, you know, April 7th. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. my kids are scheduled to go back May 1st. Um, okay. They were scheduled in Illinois to go back tentatively, I think, the 21st. It's, it's, yeah. Um, okay. So it's so, uh, so you kind of should figure out, like, okay, home life is here, but then work right. life is here and how right. adjust that and everything. So, wow, that's crazy. Um, What's up, Joe? Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Veronica. Awesome to have you here. Uh, so, so Mike, as a as a principal, and and we talked about this last night when Ray and I were on Master Chat, uh, going live on our Facebook group, uh, page about Master Chat. We mentioned about having you on here. One of the things that I know about you uh, is that you're like never in your office, right? You're always right. in the hallways, always cruising around. You've got your sweet little mobile cart that you take with you everywhere, right. uh, and you're you're you're. I would argue actually that 
a lot of times if, if we say like what's your job a lot of your time your job is just being classrooms all the time you're always right. bouncing around interacting so right now you can't do that how are you how are you personally coping not only to i'm sure what that is for you like just on an emotional level loss with the interaction but also the the value that that brings every day to your teachers and your students are you what are you doing right now to try and compensate for that to to fill that gap that's happened now what what's going on are you utilizing anything or are you just not able to like where where, where are you at in your headspace no i it's it, it's it's really difficult um because it's not just like hey we're on a winter break or a spring break you know it's, sure. it's a time where none of us i mean the adults educators don't know what's going to happen what's going to mm -hmm. we've never experienced it so for me what i've been doing is almost daily sending out like a youtube video to okay. all you know i send it out I, I put it on my twitter i put it on instagram i send it out through our email blast i send it out through the remind that parents have signed up for i ask my staff if they're able to to send it out through their class dojos and it's just because you know I, I can sit here and I can call all my students, but I can't call 525 students every single day. Um, so I feel like this is a way they can at least see my face, hear my voice, see that I'm going through the same thing as them. So yeah. some of the things we were doing last week is, you know, I sent a video, just me talking, saying, hey, you know, how's it going? Keep safe. I'm here. We're thinking about you. Uh, I did a video for my daughter. I did a video of me showing some kids how to do skateboard tricks. Nice. I was um, about to ask that. Then, yeah. You know, skateboards. That's good. Well, Cause kids have been asked me like, can you teach me how to do tricks? I said, well, yeah, when it gets nice, the weather gets nicer out, you know, the sure, spring sure, hits. Sure. Um, so I figured what better time than, than now yeah. to, to show a video. They can watch as much as they want. Um, and then we started doing, you know, the one book, one school we were doing Charlotte's Web. So we continued those readings, which was uh, which is cool because, you know, I, I filmed one with myself. Some of the staff mm -hmm. members have read. We had uh, Nick Mann from Teacher Fit. Okay. He read a chapter for, for our kids. Cool. Um, I got a couple other uh, special guests lined up for next week. Uh, my son read a chapter uh, yesterday. So just just things like that. You know, I I want to do a Zoom almost i saw last night on instagram another another principal doing like a kind of a meet and greet you know coffee with the mm -hmm. principal yep. um but i'm curious to see how many you know if you get 300 families signed in you know it could go one of two ways you know yeah because they they could start asking questions i don't have the answers for mm -hmm. um it can and i would just like it to be more kind of informal but um yeah. so that's with the families with the staff though um I've texted every single one individually. Uh, you know, I've, I've made some phone calls, uh, sent out emails to them. We did a Zoom the other day, and it was very just kind of informal. Just there was no agenda. It wasn't, you know, there's a few items like, here's what I know. Here's where we're going. Um, I'll keep you posted. Um, but actually, what we're doing next week, we're starting a uh, trivia challenge two okay. days a week. Whoever wants to do it, they can sign up. They filled out a Google form. So I'm going to break it into two teams. We're gonna go on twice a week for an hour, and I'm just gonna kind of, you know, pull pull a person from each team mm -hmm. and ask them a trivia question. And it's you know, knowing me, it's gonna be like off the wall type of trivia. So hopefully, <laughs> it'll be a, a good time, some laughs, things like that. So yeah. So so are you guys is is this week currently your your planned spring break right now, or is that no? When so, was your spring break? So my my personal kids are on spring break right now. So you, they're yeah. e -learning. yeah, they haven't even started e-learning yet. So like gotcha, these past okay. two weeks have been trying to find stuff for them to do to keep them occupied. Um, our spring break isn't until uh, it's attached that week of Easter. So, Oh really? Okay. So yeah. yeah. Got, so it gotcha. Like two yeah. more weeks. So, so then how long, well, let me really quick. I want to say good morning to Candace. Hi Candace. Uh, Ray says he's the coolest principal ever. Duh. Uh, Dave, Dave says rock stars in real life and in education. Thanks, Dave. Um, Ray loves your idea of sending a YouTube video daily. I do too. Um, Mark Heller. What's up, Mark? Hi, Tammy. Top of the morning to everyone from Tammy. Um, Ray says she loves the lens of supportive families and teachers. Uh, and trivia sounds fun. Um, I love the, the video thing. And I think that's really, really important because one of the things that I've talked about a few times is that you know, here in, in, in Stowe, I love our, our, our schools, our teachers are, are phenomenal. Um, but one thing I wish they would do it now, right now is our, our spring break. So like just plan right. anyway, one thing I right. hope they, I guess I, I saw, I'll say, I hope they do is that is getting on video more because my kids miss their teachers. 
Like, right. My, my daughter misses school in general, but my son just misses. T he actually said, he, I miss my teacher's face. Uh, and I, I <laughs> emailed her that. She's like, oh, my God, my heart's breaking. <laughs> but, like, that's the thing is, like, some of these kids just want to see you. I was having, right. we, we do, uh, we're, we've been doing sort of like these random, like, happy hour, neighborhood happy hours where we all just go to the end of our driveway right. and have a drink, you know, social distancing. And two doors down, he's an art teacher. And he's, he's trying, he's, he was like talking to me last night about struggling with like, they're like he's working on like they do things like clay right okay which, yeah. which he can't really do right now because he doesn't know if a kid has any way of getting clay or things so he's trying to think of through things that they can do naturally so he's doing things like he's going to do videos on like how to create things like from rocks and grass and stuff in the yard and one of the things i told him i said i said the other thing is just getting you on video i said just right. he's, got, he's got this beautiful like wavy like crazy hair and, like he's just known for him like just them seeing your your face and that like is enough for them because you may be the only person that they feel cares about them. Right. That could be, right. that's the focus. And that's what I've seen so many focus on. So, um, so I love the YouTube thing. That's great. Cause your kids, I guarantee they miss you. They miss you dropping and they miss the skateboard stuff. So now, even though they're, they're not able to interact with you in person, they're able to see you every day. Right. They're able right. to get some of that stuff. Curious with your, with your teachers, how are, are you check? Is it like a daily check-in with them? Is it a scheduled weekly thing that you're doing? Like how often are you checking in with your staff? I mean, obviously, so I know you, so they have access to you anytime they need you. But like, how often right. are you, or how often are, are you are you planning like those, like either hangouts or, or or whatever you're doing with them? How often is that happening? So yeah, so last Saturday was the day. Saturday evening, I kind of sent, I, I sent my personal text to every single one. Um, it was right after we did a family Zoom hangout, so it was kind of nice. You know, we had the whole family on a, on a Zoom. Then I was like, you know, I'm checking on all of them now, um, and so. We're going to do the trivia scheduled every Tuesday and Thursday. So it's kind of like those two days in the middle of the week, um, right then and there. But, you know, it's, it's, I, they kind of text me as they need me or call me or, or whatnot. It's mm -hmm. not like a, not really, you know, scheduled thing, kind of like how school is. You know, I never, I don't think I ever had a scheduled like meeting with somebody. Even when we did our post evaluations, they'd just be like, hey, can I just grab you right now? Cause I see you, you're not in a room. Come do my mm -hmm. post. I'm like, all right, that's fine. So, uh, that's kind of how the communication with them have, has been as well. So I know some of the teachers, they've got scheduled. Now, it's interesting because our, we're not an e-learning district. Like in mm -hmm. Illinois, you have to like put in an application yeah, and be yeah, approved yeah. learning. So our district has not gone that route yet. So instead, we have done like we're doing like these at-home learning activities where we've created um, on March 16th, the day before, you know, uh, Illinois went on no schools on the 17th. Our teachers got together. Um and each grade level just created plans. We, and we created plans for the rest of the year because we said, who knows what's going to happen. If, sure, if we sure. Go to the, yeah. summer, at least we have everything done. Yep. So we've been sending those out and those plans were made for, you know, kids don't need much technology. They don't need any new instruction. They shouldn't need parental support. Um, and, you know, it, we've gotten reviews from parents. Some parents think there's not enough. It's not, you know, in depth enough. Uh, some are fine with it. Um, but the thing was, what was nice, because contractually, you know, we can't ask them to work right now during this time. Mm -hmm. Like, so we can't say, hey, you need to set up meetings with your kids virtually. But I mean, many of our my, my staff, at least in my building, have been doing it just on their own. Sure. And I jumped in a third grade Zoom the other day and there was I don't know, maybe eight, eight or nine kids were there. And sure. uh, it was nice because it was very kind of informal it was just the teacher there kind of like just checking in on them she goes hey you know we're going to read this book if you don't have it you can jump on you know tumble books and it's, it's there uh so just kind of that's just that daily check-in and i it's more it's not just for the kids like no. as educators we need it too i mean yeah no kidding it's, yeah it's it's just it's a difficult time for everybody so it, well, it really is i want to get to a few comments here so so adam asks, hey mike so is it jeans day every day now <laughs> uh yeah and ray ray comment or sweatpants um yeah i i don't think i've worn a pair of jeans since this happened i got <laughs> you know like i've been wearing basketball shorts every Just day <laughs> i love it alex is asking oh can we do a teach better trivia night oh that's something to think about ray uh maybe put that in the the uh the plans there uh jody says good morning good morning jody um jen molitor molitor is here jen says uh 
We're getting together a video montage of each team of teachers to put out on our website. Ooh, I like that. That's going to be cool to see. You should definitely share that out when, when that gets done. Um, Laura, good morning, Laura. Laura says, there was nothing crazier than seeing 23rd graders in my son's class do a Zoom class together. They were all saying hi to each other <laughs> for 20 minutes. Uh, I totally get that. So I had my uh, my son's got the um, – there's an app you can get, like he has a Kindle Fire. So the app, it's Kids Messenger. So it connects through your parents' yeah. Facebook messages. Yeah. So I have full control. I can see everything that goes on and I control whose kids, whatever. And we've got a bunch of parents that have connected. But watching my son on the Kindle with one of his buddies at school that he, you know, that he's not even in the same class, but they just see each other like in right. a lunch in the hall. They were just like, we didn't, we had no idea. I was right next to him. I had no idea what they were doing, but they were just laughing for like 30 minutes just That's hilarious awesome. laughing yeah. and it's just they, they miss each other so i i love the idea of a zoom of 20 to 30 uh kids in there is, is really really cool so um tammy says i've gotten really great feedback from my students and their parents about our zoom sessions they love it i i have story time in the morning and then a small group session so the students have two opportunities a day to see me and their classmates that's awesome tammy um giving them i, I think that's the biggest piece is giving them the the opportunity to interact with you some like you said like there was eight or nine on there right. some may not jump on you may have too many jump on but given an opportunity with that i think i think is so important so jody says ray i literally got up showered and just put on a comfy dress i just needed uh to get work ready today which is something we touched on last night i think i don't know when it was what what live we've been doing a lot of live videos i'm not sure which one it was but we were talking about like the the power of of pants, power of getting dressed in the morning. It's something, you know, I've been working from home for 10, almost 15 years. And I still like, it's the the act of getting dressed, whether it's just in the jeans and the sweatshirt like I have on today, the act of getting dressed is so powerful in the morning for oh, when definitely. you want to get into your, your mindset. I was saying then like, I don't right now, but there are many days where I put on shoes and everything. Like where yeah. I would be ready to go just cause I have to do that, you know, that that sort of that mental process. So, um, as she mentioned that they're getting ready there. So we got more coming in here. So Candace says we played uh, jeopardy on zoom and my kids loved it. I did past material and questions about the classroom. How many tables of our, does our classroom have? Oh, that's, cool. that's really cool. Candace. That's awesome. Um, and Ray, Ray, Ray's uh, confirmed. We all need those personal check-ins blended with the funds, uh, staff bonding act activity. So that's good. Um, Alex jokingly replied showering. Is that like a necessary thing? Uh, and go on there. So we have, let's see, who is this? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Sorry, they're going back and forth about um, showering now. Uh, Adam says we have official or we have office hours from 9 to 11. So I'll get ready soon. Um, <laughs> Adam said he finally brushed his hair after two days only because we had a Zoom. Uh, going through here, I'm trying to look for if there's questions in here and stuff. So Jody says the co-teacher and her have done scavenger hunts with their class. We give them an item and they go find it in their house and bring it back. That's cool. The best That's part cool. is when the families cool. start helping and participating. That's really cool. Um, they had a uh, Adam. They had they did a virtual Spirit Week through Facebook, which is a great. Then he said great response. That was really cool. Um, Alex says they're. Um, their, their school is also doing a, a spirit week uh, next week. He says, hashtag pretzel pride. Uh, so a lot of that's, I've, I've been loving seeing a lot of that stuff going on. I've seen a bunch of these spirit weeks and, um, and different things uh, happen there. Good morning, Kimberly. Uh, good to see you as well. Um, I had a question I was going to ask you, but I forgot. I do want to mention if you are listening right now on teach better talk podcast or watching this on YouTube or somewhere else in the world, that's not our private Facebook group. If you want to get in on the action and ask, be able to ask, you know, our guest questions or, get your thoughts in or, or joke with Adam and Alex about showering and putting on sweatpants or whatever. Uh, the best way to do that obviously is here in our private Facebook group. So go to teachbettergroup.com to get in there or just search teach better team on Facebook. Our page will come up. You can like that of course, and then you can request to get in the group. We'll get you in here. It's an awesome group regardless of all this, just a great place to um, jump in. I also do want to mention that, you know, along with the videos, this video will then go up on our YouTube channel and then also as an audio form on our, our Teach Better Talk podcast. So we are getting five additional bonus episodes every week right now on the podcast, which is super cool because I had this goal of like 2021 to do seven podcast episodes a week. Right now, we, we have been doing three, two interviews plus one bonus. Now we're doing our two interviews plus five bonus. So we're getting my seven. So we just decided to get there a year early. That's it's been cool. a little crazy, but a lot of fun. Um, it was one of the things we said how can we best support? So we did things like there's a brand new course over at the Academy. We've got vlogs coming out every day. 
Uh, Master Chat was on fire last night. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of, new, bunch of new downloads, bunch of new um, tutorial playlists going out on the YouTube channel. So a lot of really cool stuff doing. So make sure you're checking out teachbetter.com, the Academy, teachbetteracademy.com and all that. And then get in this group so you can chat with people like Mike. So um, I'm trying to see who else is on here. <laughs> is that, I got Alex, is that your, is that the, is that like your thing? Is it Freeport pretzels? Is that your mascot? Cause if it is, it's probably the coolest mascot ever. I yeah, didn't know that, be. but um yeah so ray ray does a nice little commercial here said need motivation getting dressed join our daily drop in when we throw throw you on camera or you'll ha often make sure your hair is done <laughs> there you go so if you want to come on with us then you have to do that so anyway um all right i'm getting more in here mike so let me ask you as more comments are thrown in here with your conversations both with students with families with with teachers and and then yourself what's sort of the most What's the most challenging point right now for, for, for let's do you personally and then also for your staff? Like, what's the biggest challenge that you guys are facing during all this mix? Is it the fact that you weren't already in e learning school? Is it just missing the kids? Is it just a, a logistical thing? Like, what, what do you think is the, the, the thing that is the most challenging right now for you and then also for your staff? I think that it just came so sudden, you know, I don't think it doesn't matter that we weren't e-learning or not. Um, you know, cause I've got my own views on, on e-learning, you know, I've seen it done well, I've seen it done poorly. So I just think just, I mean, literally my wife and I were talking last night, how just like the snap of a finger. I mean, last, you know, last, you know, yeah. I remember last night's master retail, like you said, was on fire the week before I moderated and we happened to be, um, well, she was working, you know, like her hours have been cut now because she's in healthcare, so there's not mm -hmm. as many patients. So it just it happens so quickly, and I think yeah. that's the hardest thing for everyone. Like, there was no time to plan. I mean, Illinois was announced uh Friday, mm -hmm. it you know, almost it was, it was in, yeah, I was gonna say it was like at, right at the end of school, yeah. And and our school board said we're not gonna have kids come Monday, even though we can, that's the day the teachers will plan. So there wasn't even, you know, a, a goodbye. Hey, don't worry. You know, we're thinking about you. It just was, this is it. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, you see across the country, there are schools who already closed the remainder of the year. So just how quick it happened and just not knowing what's going to happen, I think is the yeah. toughest thing, you know, gotcha. lessons and things like that. I mean, that, that, that can come easily, you know, especially for educators that know what they're doing. So. Sure. Uh, it's the, yeah, I, I think you hit it right. And, that's what I've noticed that it, it, it is. And it seems obvious, but it's the unknown. It's right. the, are we starting back next week? And if so, what exactly are we doing? Or are we, and then what happens if we start back, but then things get worse and we have to pull back or we have to change right. or what is it? What, you know, right. doing that, that unknown. And like you said, the quickness was crazy. So I was actually on my way from Ohio to Chicago with Chad and Kyle, who's on our team. And we were on our way. We were supposed to be doing a team meeting in Chicago that weekend that it, it, stopped on 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 uh in illinois and illinois was saying ah, like they weren't too worried so we're like okay no. talk to the team everyone was okay on our way there it was just like boom city after city stay right. after state we're like whoa like it was crazy our six hour drive like we felt like we were listening to like like apocalyptic movie on right. our way out there and then obviously so we called we didn't have the team meeting or anything like that and we whatever but like it was just crazy and that's when it happened with illinois because it went from like Oh, well, they're not really saying anything. We're not super worried. There's been like one you right. know, a couple cases here, there, they don't see good. And then it was like, by the end of the day, Friday, it's like, Oh, never mind. We're not like, we're all gone. We're all done. Right. Um, and it did that each state got there at a different point, but it happened quick like that for everyone. And I think when you're in a state and your state isn't necessarily worried about it, you might hear about another state. You might've heard that Ohio was moving quick on closing it, but that didn't necessarily mean that it was obviously bad or anything you had to worry about because your state would call it. So yeah, the, right. the quickness was crazy. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it, that's not an easy position to put anyone in, let alone teachers trying to figure out okay, right. what to do now. Right. And the logistics of it and stuff. So uh, I want to get to, uh, Laura. Good morning, Laura. Laura says we are struggling because the district created kind of sad packets for our kids through this, through the, the six. But after that, we are just guessing our kids are one-to-one, -one, but they don't have devices at home. So the district is just now surveying them to figure out what is next. They also didn't pass out packets until the 16th where we had 30% of students in attendance. So I'm concerned about even finding my uh, seventh graders when the government uh, extends this time. Uh, that is definitely um, trouble uh, tough there. I know our school, 
It was one to one or almost all one to one, but they did a like the, you know we, we closed on I can't remember what day it was, but then the following week we had a day where anyone who didn't have a device could go get it. So I know like right. still hanging out like three thousand different devices so that people can get one on one and stuff like that. But that is tough. Um, I'll get through. There's other questions in here. I see Ray and Ray and Laura go back and forth on things, getting things figured out. Um, Ray Ray said, you know, you're right, Mike. That was that was so hard that things ended so fast with no goodbye. And Ray's talked about that a few times. It was just kind of like, well, like, I guess goodbye. Like we have no idea when we're going to see the kids again. We right. have no idea what's going on, um, which is really tough. So um, Chad says teachers had to quote unquote, Apollo 13, an entire new learning experience without any notice. Uh, it's just an amazing feat. It's not the, the States or the government. It's, it's teachers in the trenches making all the, all, all the function at, at all, like making this work. So, um, yeah, I was I was amazed with when we got our teachers together on the on that Monday the sixteenth, and yeah. the principals like we had a we you know that that weekend before the sixteenth we we had conference call after conference call. When we brought the teachers in Monday, we said, "Look, here's what you need to create. Here's the parameters we want." I mean, for I was in charge of third grade. Each each administrator in the district got a grade level they're in charge of, and. I was amazed with just, you know, the camaraderie and the unity when all the third graders, teachers in our district came together and just cranked out, which I mean, I, for what we asked them to do, I mean, it was, to me, it's quality work. That's no, it's not like building, you know, uh, you know, new lessons like they would be doing the, the rest of the school year, but mm -hmm. it's quality stuff that's going to keep them engaged and keep them learning and keep their minds working during this time. So yeah, it, it was, it, the power of the t of teachers, what they were able to do is just, it was across the country too, not just my district. You yeah, know, and we're seeing, awesome. we're seeing that again and again, again, I've said this, I feel like a broken record, but you know, at teach better 19, I talked about like the thing that gives me hope for the world. It was that room full of teachers that we had that all came back yeah. all together to be, to be better. Like I'm seeing that again and again now that like, this is a crazy time, but like what gives me hope for our future is like how, how teachers are just coming together. Like you said, across the country right? and sharing would, like it's the sharing and the I'm here for you uh, help is ridiculously yeah. awesome right now. It's crazy. Like that is a, a really positive thing that I'm seeing. And what I hope happens is after we get through all this and when the dust settles, that still is there, that that remains there. Right. We continue to right. do it because that's going to make us better regardless. Um, so like that's, yeah. that's positive you want to pull out of that. Uh, Mark says he talked to um some college seniors who really struggle with being told to clear out and go home in 24 hours realize they may not see many of their friends ever again yet a lot of college kids got like it was like hey you gotta get out 24 30 hours right gone and it's like what do you do then do you clear out your dorm or your apartment or do you see your friends like do you have time for both and i've talked to a couple too that i know that are in college and you know one of our interns as well and they just they had no idea what was going on. If they're close to graduation, like, this is this going to affect my graduation? Am I now a bunch of them? They're not going to get to walk like all these different things. Like, so this goes, you know, beyond K-12, it goes up in the, in the college. Right. And then obviously you could say the same for people that work and they have their work friends and people right. they love their colleagues. And does this affect it? Am I going to end up losing my job? Is our business going to shut down because they're losing it? And I'm never going to see these people again because now we're not connecting. Now, hopefully, with our technology and social media that we have, we're able to stay connected with friends and family better than we might have been able to do, you know, 20 years ago. Right. But, right. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly seconds that, that the quickness um, was the, the challenge she found out on Thursday, two weeks ago at 11 AM that we had to get everything for two weeks sent home that day. Um, they were allowed to come back and pick stuff up all, uh, for themselves um, the next day. So it was just super quick, um, which is the, the problem. And we're getting a lot of comments here, Mike. So I'm going to keep reading them off for you here. Um, uh, Adam is asking, Mike, have you thought of a community gathering once everything is cleared up? It's something I want to do for my school community gathering. I'm assuming Adam, you're talking about like community outside of staff and students, but like reaching out to the community. Is that what you're thinking? And I would assume you mean, or are you thinking like after all this clears, I'm going to get back into school. You're going to bring everyone together. I'm not sure what, what exactly what you're mentioning there, but I'm good with either one. Um, are you, that's, that leads me to a question. I think, are you. Are you to that point yet, Mike, where you are planning, discussing, talking either amongst your admin team and your other colleagues there or with your staff about what what's the plans for if we do go back on, uh, you know, the date that's out there right now? What is it? April 21st. Like, what's our first step when we get back into class? Are you there yet? Is it right now or is it just let's keep getting through where we're at right now? 
No, yeah, we or, we uh, had a <laughs> district. We had like a district level meeting the other day, um, and then we had principals we met yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. And and we're not even at that point. Like we're we're trying to look like let's see if that's the date they're going to give us. Um, yeah. You know, we already know like state testing's gone. Um, sure. We've already talked about some of our if we do go back end of the year activities. Some we're going to have still. There's some that we just wouldn't be able to pull off at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I know for me, um, you know, I when we if if we do go back, hopefully before the year's over. I mean, I'm gonna let my staff know like your main focus right now is just to reconnect with your kids i mean don't worry about trying to pick up that curriculum map and pick up where you're supposed to be or where you left off like you know we'll, we'll figure that out later but right now you just gotta reconnect with the kids make sure they're okay make sure everything because it like you were you're saying jeff i mean we just saw um one of the local coffee shops put a facebook post up yesterday that they were closing down just because this it's, just these two it, weeks i've already heard them that bad that they have they have to be done so yeah you know a lot of our a lot of our students have parents who still have to work you know they're not on mm -hmm. salary they don't have jobs where they can stay at home so it's it's scary to think like what they may be going through mm -hmm. um you know so yeah the 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 just the economic impact on local level is is right. is, is going to be really interesting to see and, and kind of scary to think about um, so I do want to go here and Ray mentioned it and I'm glad she did cause I was going to get us there eventually, but Ray's getting us there faster. So Ray's asking Mike, can you talk about your podcast and the stuff you do for teachers outside of your principal role in the school building? So you do quite a bit of things outside of being a principal, um, in all your quote unquote spare time. Um, uh, you know, one is something that I'm wearing right, right. here with the punk rock classroom, right. your podcast, the different things. I know, you know, education never dies. Can you, can you kind of give us, give us a, ru a rundown of like inside the new world? What are these, you, you got a bunch of different things going on, like share. share right. Share. Uh, we can talk about the podcast first. So yeah. it, it's, um, I met my co-host Josh Buckley on a mastery chat. Um, probably nice. Like somewhere, I, I don't know somewhere, if yeah. I knew that. I don't know if I knew yeah. it was a mastery chat. That's awesome. It was yeah. There was a mastery chat in the summertime. I want to say it was like maybe June or July. And uh, in one of my responses, I had dropped a link to a blog I wrote. And uh, in the blog, I had referenced a band. And then Josh kind of, and it, it's interesting because that was the first time he'd ever done a mastery chat. So he okay. commented like, you know, oh my God, this guy quoted, you know, sick of it all in an educational blog. And so <laughs> then him and I, him and I just kind of started talking uh, back and forth throughout the summer. Um, we had a lot of the same interests. He actually, he's in Arizona now, but he's, uh, lives, uh, he grew up in like the Michigan area. Okay. So him and I started talking, he's like, you know, have, have you ever thought about doing a podcast? I'm like, well, I'd like to, I have no idea what to do, how to, you know, record and post. He's like, oh, don't worry. I know how to do it. So we talked throughout the summer. And then once, uh, you know, we let the school year kind of get rolling, everyone got settled and we started recording. Cause I remember it was when teach better came around, I think we had like our second episode come out like okay. that week or the week before. Um, so you mean, you mean when the just kind of turned to conference? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we've, uh, you know, we've been doing it then since then we've originally started off doing an episode twice, twice a month. Um, and we were getting some good feedback. So we started doing those, those weeks. We don't do a full episode. We'll do like a reflection piece where either him or I talk for, for 10 minutes about, you know, reflecting on something we discussed or anything in general. And, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of taken off. You know, you we got gear going, and uh, you know, we uh, submitted our application for Podcasters Row to come out to Teach Better Twenty. Yeah, uh, talking with Hans about that, so we're excited to do that. But uh, we yeah, we got some big plans for it. We actually we're gonna start having guests on finally. We think okay, because um, that's something a lot of people have been asking us about. Like, hey, you know, when are you gonna have guests? Because up at this point, it's always just been him and I. So. Uh, we got some ideas to start rolling out, uh, probably within the next month. Um, uh, you know, I'm a writer, uh, signed with edge match. So I'm work currently working on a book, um, mm -hmm. come out with them. It'll probably come I'm thinking like spring 2021. Um, so what can you tell us about the book? Cause I know some things about it, but I don't know what's public or what was right. my lucky luck of talking to you in person. So can, what, what can you give us about the book? So the book basically is, um, it's about transforming school culture, you know, like, cause I feel, you know, I, that's one of my passions. I've been very, you know, successful with it. Um, so 
know, there's a little twist to it. You know, if you, if you notice, you know, the Twitter handle changed and I'll, I'll mention things about recipes and dishes. Mm -hmm. So uh, give you a little hint of maybe the, the, the vein of where the book's going with that. But uh, you know, when I'm, when I, Sarah and I talked about it, Sarah from Edumatch discussed it. We had uh, some very uh, cool ideas and different ways we can take the project than just, you know, all right, here's your book. So I, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, I wrote another, mm -hmm. got another recipe written last night. I'm very excited about. So, yeah, so I got spring, the, the, the scrolling text across, scrolling text across the bottom. So if you don't have Mike connected to you on there, it's Edu Chef Earnshaw. So that does give you a little hint into the the book. And you yeah. mentioned recipes. So I'm excited about. it. I think it's gonna be really cool. So, uh, and then you also are in, involved, obviously, with this. It, it's just it's sort of a movement. A uh, if you will, right, of education never dies. Can you yeah. give us what, what is that? What's going on with that? What is that? That's that's interesting how, how that came about. <laughs> so Michael Murphy, he's a guy I met on on Twitter about a year ago. He invited me to Voxer um, to join like this Fit Leaders Voxer group. And it was probably the beginning of December of 2019 where he sends me a message he's like, hey, would you and Josh want to – get in this Voxer group with uh, staff room, Che and Pav. I'm like, I mean, yeah, of course I'll do it. I'm like, Josh isn't on Voxer. Let me see if I can get him on. And so it was the five of us originally, just, you know, staff room, Josh and I, and then uh, Michael Murphy. And we slowly started adding some people, you know, like Santiago Meza, uh, Taylor Armstrong, Tony Coppola, uh, Christine Ravisi Weinstein. And so there was nine of us in there and we just kind of were, talking about a lot of things we discussed um you know we would one one day we'd be talking about like lesson plans like what's mm -hmm. the true purpose of a lesson plan because in the between the nine of us we've got you know teachers administrators building level administrators yeah. district level administrators so it's nice it's a great mixture and you know we just would talk about all our different viewpoints we realized we all are so different yet we all have kind of like the same like our goal is the same with education and you know, then the next day our conversation would be is Die Hard truly a Christmas movie? Uh, so our our conversations, you know, would be from very serious things to just fun, fun topics. And, mm -hmm. you know, we had kind of started playing around with like, well, where could, you know, this go? You know, someone someone mentioned, you know, retitle the group to Education Never Dies. I came back. I go, you guys realize that those you take the first letters, it says end. And we started playing around like, well, you know, the end is just the beginning, you know, education never mm -hmm. died. And just between our conversations, we kind of were like, well, let's let's start a chat. You know, so we we didn't want to just roll out a chat and that would be it. So we created a, a website <laughs> that's up. It's education never dies dot com. And our chat, we've had what four, I think this Wednesday, it's Wednesday nights, 830 Central Time. Uh, it's three questions. We, this was our fourth week and we're averaging about, you know, the, the first couple of weeks, I think we were about 45 participants. Uh, this past Wednesday, I think we had like 60, 65 participants, not Crazy. counting the nine, nine of us. And uh, we actually just launched um, our new after hours chat, kind of like how when you guys do mastery chat, you know, you jump on Facebook and mm -hmm. do that. Yeah. So we started a Voxer group where we sent out the link, people you can make your Voxer account and then they can jump in and we post a fourth question that kind of ties with the theme of what that chat was. And it we I couldn't believe, I couldn't even keep up with how many people actually joined this group and we're just, we're chiming in. So um, we've got some I other ideas of where we wanted to go. We don't want it just to be a sure. chat on the website, you know, but if you do check out the website, we have, um, a teacher feature page where you can nominate a teacher and we'll kind of do a showcase a focus on them. And we also have, uh, it's called, uh, you know, it's, it's like a dear Abby <clears throat> where if you've got a question that you want, you know, answered, maybe you're not com comfortable asking your colleagues, you don't want to just put it out there in the Twitter universe so everyone can see what you're asking. Sure. You can submit it through our website, either anonymously okay. or not. And we can then, you know, between the nine of us discuss it and try to help address it and help you out. I like there, it. So. Yeah, that's very cool. Bringing, bringing the community in, letting letting that happen. That's really cool. So got a lot Thank of you. comments coming in while we were talking. So uh, Tammy, it sounds like Tammy was is trying to come back. So Tammy is in Mexico. She said, uh, she's getting a little worried after 11 years in Mexico. Set to return to the U.S. this summer. 
did not renew her contract and I'm looking for a job in California. She said, I did not mean to plan my, my big move back home during the same time as the world, as a world pandemic. Yeah. Tammy, that is crazy. We're all thinking about you. That's uh <laughs> just rough time in there. Oh, that's, that's, that's rough. rough. Yeah. I have nothing for you as far as um, uh, advice either. I don't know. That's such a, that's a tough spot there, but just know that we're all looking out for you. So if anybody has a spot open at a school for an amazing teacher, Tammy's trying to get back in. So, um, hopefully that works out there. Um, Jody had to run. Let's see if I got any questions in here. Just checking real quick while this is going. By the way, yeah, Chad Chad commented something about that. But uh, if you didn't catch the gist of, of everything Mike said, it sounds like you should definitely get a master chat because you never know what might happen. You end up starting a <laughs> podcast with someone, right? Like. <laughs> Ray, we say, if it wasn't for mastery chat, we wouldn't. Have, uh, <laughs> we want to have the podcast. Mark Heller says, "Love the pack podcast. Been listening to it for the past two weeks. It, it's one of the best." Thank you. Um, Adam said he's so excited for the the book. Um, uh, let's see what else. Ray is saying that Sarah Thomas is amazing. She is. Hey, Brian's in here. Hi, Brian. Good morning to you. She said that's awesome. Book news. Um, Ray said that the staff room is another awesome podcast uh, and group there. Everyone obviously agrees with that. And Tammy says that she, I also have a little itty bitty podcast called time to teach since we're on the topic. So if you need another podcast, go find Tammy's time to teach. That'd be great. Uh, speaking of podcasts, just want to mention again, if you are listening to this right now on the teach better talk podcast, but you want to get in on the action, you want to be able to chat with someone live and, and post comments in here and get involved. Best way to interact with this is in our private Facebook group um, at Facebook or at uh, teach better group.com or go search teach better team on Facebook. Um, same if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, this has been recorded right now live here on Facebook. Uh, every morning, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m., I've got Mr. Mike Earnshaw with me, the edu chef, right? But also the principal on a skateboard, right? I mean, uh, so much going on involved with the podcast and, and education never dies and some really, really cool stuff there. So um, would would – I'm curious if you could, you know, we've been, we've been going here for a while. I don't want you know, I know you got things to do. So curious for everyone that's uh, watching, listening, stuff like that. Um, as, as Adam and Ray go back and forth between team Jeff and team Ray. Thank you, Adam. I won't forget that. Um, Ray's mad cause he went team Jeff. Um, for anyone right now. So we've seen some comments. We talked about the struggle of it came so fast that we don't necessarily know exactly where we're going. We're struggling. We, we didn't have much time to get things together. Kids are struggling because maybe they have bad internet connection. They don't have the technology. They don't have the support system at home. I miss the kids, right? I'm missing their faces. They're missing me. We don't know what's going on. All these unknowns from a leader in a in a building from you, and, and I consider you to also just be out far outside of your building, just a leader in education. What are there any? Is there any advice? Is there any sort of can you can you calm us down? Can you? Can you, can you sue this out a little bit, Mike? What kind of advice do you give to just now to anyone who might be listening and watching, catching us anywhere, uh, who is feeling any of these different struggles, is feeling the uncertainty, the anxiety, the stress right now? What would you say to them? That's a lot of pressure. John. I know that's a lot. <laughs> I, really, I realize that. But just so you know, just to give you a little bit of a little bit of oomph, Ray just said hashtag Team Mike instead. So like you just beat both Team Jeff and Ray, your Team Mike. So now you got a little, you know, she's got your back. <laughs> uh, no, I would, you know, it's it, Josh and I just discussed this uh, last week on our, our podcast. Uh, the latest episode actually was an ode to you from when we uh, got together at uh, IdeaCon. The topic was, what's your punk? Because if nice. you remember, you uh, you had asked me, we talked about that after my uh -huh. session, after I spoke. And yeah. uh, you know, so I gave a shout out to you, you know, because that was your idea. Um, yeah, I, but I get caught up. We, uh, we, uh, discuss kind of you know and this actually we it's funny because him josh and i tried to record it a couple weeks ago and afterwards i i kind of i sent him a message i said i don't like the way that came out and he's like no it was good and then literally 10 minutes later he goes you know what i it, I, I don't have a good feeling about it either so we scratched it and we said you know josh will do a uh, another reflection episode and then all of this came about you know with the schools closing and yeah. shelters in yeah. place so we were talking about it and we said, this is the perfect time because, you know, when you and I talked about like, what's your punk, you know, like, what's your passion? What's something that makes yeah. you, you. And I think that's what we all need to do. You know, I talked with Nick Mann from teacher fit the other day and now it's, 
everyone's schedule and everyone's world is so thrown up in the air. It's it's so different than our normal routines where we're used to, but we still have to keep those things that make us us like grounded you know like so if you're a runner make sure you're still getting out and running or working out and if you're a writer you know make sure you're still writing and keeping that flow going if you know you you cook make sure you're still creating dishes with what you can do because having some normalcy is going to kind of help keep you you know like sane and i think just reaching out also via zoom or google hangout or facetime whatever you want to do i mean like i said we did uh my wife did, you know, with her work friends the other night for two hours, they did a zoom, a zoom call. And she said like afterwards, like this, it was so nice. You know, we haven't, she hasn't laughed that hard and so long with them. Like it was, it was just, you know, and you're not with each other in like a you know, restaurant yeah. or something, but just being connected. So I think just, just find those things that you enjoy doing and still find a way to do them. Um, and just stay connected as best you can with people. That Cause I mean, if you just, yeah. if you just shelter up and watch the news all day, it's, it no, your anxiety is off the charts. Right, right. And that's so true because there's so many things that are off tilt right now, so many things that are off, out of balance, so many things that are unknown, new, crazy, scary, whatever, that finding your normal is is so, so, so key. So I love that. That's right. that's great advice. Um, I do want to mention that um, Adam did say, shh, don't tell Jeff I'm Team Ray. So thanks for going back on that, Adam. Um, <laughs> but – um, and Brianna agrees connection is key. I think that is so, so true. Um, and, uh, yeah, so find your, your stuff. Ray's laughing at the hashtag running cause we all know Ray doesn't run. So, um, right. but, but you're right. I mean, that's such a, such a, uh, an important piece there. So I think that's a great way to wrap this up with find, find your normal, find your punk rock, right? What makes you, you, what balances you out, right. make sure you get into that. So. Uh, really, really important there. Speaking of balance, I do want to mention next week, uh, next Wednesday on the 1st, I've got the Balance Pirate coming in to help us out with that. So Sarah Johnson is going to be joining me live nice. on our drop-in. Uh, we've got drop-ins all week. Um, I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. But I do want to shout out because we got guests, I think, every day next week uh, or almost every day next week. So we got on um, Monday, Ray has – let's see. Ray's got Mark Heller coming in uh, on Monday. That's awesome. On Tuesday, you're going to get Ray and Becky Thal. Becky is such an awesome person, such an awesome uh, member of our team. Wednesday, I got Sarah Johnson with me. On uh, Thursday, I'm waiting to confirm, but I might have a really cool guest there with some really specific uh, knowledge. And then on Friday, Chad will be dropping in as well. So next week, we'll get back into it. Um, obviously this weekend we'll be, we won't be doing our drop-ins, but if you need anything, we're here for you. We still have the new course over at teachbetteracademy.com, which is support in a virtual classroom led by Ray. Uh, we are pumping out blogs for, for uh, a week. We are really focusing those with our amazing guest bloggers to, to focus on things that are happening right now and in the struggles that we're going through. Um, we'll be back next Thursday with mastery chat. Uh, we have new series coming up on the uh, on YouTube channel. We have different um, so there's like a Flipgrid tutorial, there's a quizzes tutor tutorial, there's some more tutorials coming up as well, um, and then obviously the podcast seven episodes every every week right now, and just doing everything we can to support all of you uh, and trying to bring you some awesome folks like Mr. Earnshaw here. So Mike, really appreciate coming Thank on. Thank you. Um, if you're listening, yeah, appreciate on you having me. If you're listening on the podcast or watching on YouTube, please jump into the YouTube, uh, into the Facebook group, uh, teachbettergroup.com, or search Teach Better Team on Facebook so you can get in here and participate with us and engage with us. Not to mention just outside of these videos, also this group is just a great place to connect with other educators that are here to help um, and collaborate and, and do whatever you need to do. So Jen says, thanks, guys. Great to connect. Um, it's, who's saying take a pic of those books? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Mark, but uh, I'll take a picture of books. Um, so um, I think I think Alex Alex was asking what was behind. Oh, oh, that was so okay. I think Sorry, I got you. Got about that bookshelf. Yeah. The bookshelf. Okay, I, I missed some of the questions. There. Thanks, Mike. I'm glad you're doing your, my job. Um, <laughs> Thank says you, Ray. Bye. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Chad Ostrowski takes Ray says Chad takes care of the runner for her. A lot of times I'll go run for a few miles. But like, hey, Ray, I did five miles. I got one for you. So I just take four and you take the one. It's teamwork. Uh, Alex says, sidebar, anyone else wondering what is on Jeff's bookshelf behind him? Okay. Are you talking? So like obviously back here is a whole bunch of teach better stuff. But back there I got a whole bunch of stuff. I, I will take a picture of all the books that are on there, and I will share that out on my Twitter. So if you follow me at Jeff Gargas, I'll, I'll share that out. So i um, happy to do that. I have more books other places, but those are like my – it's like my reference shelf. I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about how I read books. Like I don't read books like – 
I don't read them really. I always have like nine books that have like bookmarks in it because I use them as reference. Where I'm like, oh, I need this, so I go to that book or that writer or whatever, and that's how I kind of get my my stuff. So very cool. Um, thanks guys for doing this. Back to planning. That was from uh, who was that? That was from Mark. Mark, awesome to have you in. Thanks for jumping in. Um, Veronica, thank you. Brian, thank you. Uh, everyone who commented, thank you very much. Uh, Mike. Uh, huge thanks for you coming on, man. Really, really appreciate it. Um, best place to connect with you is, yeah, thanks for having is from me. what I know, best place to connect with you is Twitter, correct? Yes. Um, so throwing that definitely. up really quick, scrolling across here. So uh, you can see that at EduChef Earnshaw is the best place to grab with Mike. Very, very active, obviously, on Twitter. You probably also find him by like following the hashtag Punk Rock Classrooms or hashtag yep. um, Education Never Dies and get into that. When is that chat? Again. So the education, yeah, the education never dies. Chat is Wednesdays at okay. eight thirty central. So okay. it's right after kids deserve it will end, and uh, we start up. Get right into it. Awesome. And the podcast, mm -hmm. obviously, you can find a podcast on any and all your podcast channels, and then it's uh, punkrockclassrooms.com, correct? Too right. No, the web. No. Our website oh, is. You kinda, got, sorry, you got educationoverdies.com website. Right. Punk, where's the best place for punk rock <laughs> classroom? Just go to go to your podcast, your favorite podcast platform. Yes. Where we're do on, they get this? On. I mean, this so, this this hoodie. I don't mean to keep us yeah. going, but this hoodie is yeah. not only cool; it's super. You got the one too. Yeah. It's super comfy too. Like it's a super soft uh, thing. So I can't remember where I got this from. I got it off so, a link. Uh, yeah. So I I can't. The link, you know, it's through that Threadless company. So if you gotcha, okay. follow, if you go to on Twitter, our hashtag on Twitter or our our handle on Twitter is at Punk Classrooms. If you add Rock, it's too long. So at Punk Classrooms <laughs> and We've got a link, I think, in our bio and our, uh -huh. our, you know, that you can go and, and get. We got, you know, we just, Josh uh, just added another design for a t shirt. Very cool. uh, like, it says it's like hardcore positivity because we were I talking a lot it, about, yeah. yeah, a lot about positivity. So, uh, it's, just, uh, go yeah, and, just go follow Mike, connect with him and ask right. him. Like that's the best way to do right. it. Right. So, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you. Loving it. Awesome. Well, we will see you back here live in our Facebook group on Monday uh, for our start of our daily drop is next week, every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern time, which is 7 a.m. Uh, Central time, obviously. And uh, that's it. Look for uh, this being up on the Teach Better Talk podcast as well as uh, additional um, episodes as well and uh, everything else over at teachbetter.com. If you guys need anything at all, please reach out to us. We are at Teach Better Team on everything on social. Go follow Mike. Connect with him. He's at EduChef Earnshaw on Twitter. That's the best spot. Go listen to the Punk Rock Classrooms uh, podcast. Go get in, engaged in the hashtag Education Never Dies chat on Wednesdays. And, right, Wednesdays? Yes. Wednesdays. You just said that. And lost it. Yes. So get in there. We will see you on Monday. Appreciate all of you. Um, and thank you. Appreciate it, yeah, Mike. Thank, thank you. Have a I good guess, weekend, everybody. Have an awesome day, guys. Make sure you find find your punk rock. Find what makes you real and, and, and get back to some balance in your life. Enjoy your weekend.